Hey guys, it can get to know fanboy, Justin Ruby here. And today, I want to talk to you about the different types of Nintendo 64 replacement joysticks that I've found online. Because we all know, the Nintendo 64 is very near and dear to our hearts. And the biggest problem with these controllers is the control stick wearing out over time. So I'm going to show you the different control sticks I've found and give you my opinions on each one. And I'm going to ask for your help in locating more of the one I prefer the most because I'm finding it extremely difficult to find. So please watch this video. You might learn something about Nintendo 64 control sticks and maybe you can even help me out in finding the best ones available on the market. Okay guys, I'm going to show you the different types of replacement Nintendo 64 control sticks. But first I'm going to show you a stock Nintendo 64 control stick. Now I know this stick hasn't been modified because I won this controller in a Nintendo Power contest many years ago. And I've never used it. As you can see it still has the, the plastic over here on the wire. I've tested it once to make sure it was working, just plugged it in. But here's the card I got for winning. To prove this is a legitimate Nintendo 64 controller that has not been touched. So I'm going to point out the major features of the Nintendo 64 control stick. The first thing to take note of is the color of the plastic around the stick itself because some of the uh, other models of sticks, which I'm going to show you here in a minute, don't have the correct color. Another feature is that either on the left side or the right side of the stick on the shaft itself there are two circles. There's one about here, an indent, and a smaller indent near the top here. The bottom one has a number, but I'm not sure if all of them do. But this will be either on the left or the right side of the uh, stock Nintendo 64 control stick and that's a sure tell sign that it's probably a legitimate stick and I'll show you why in a minute. Also another feature is that as you can see the Nintendo 64 controller has three rings on the top, larger, middle, and small going into the center. But if you turn the controller on its side like this, I don't know how well you could see this on the video, each ring rises up a bit higher. So that's something else to look out for. And those are the main features of the Nintendo 64 control stick. And this stick feels amazing. I mean, probably the best stick I'll ever feel on a Nintendo 64 controller again. Now the first replacement parts are really good. Both of these are about the same. They match up to the features of the standard Nintendo 64 stock control stick pretty well. These actually just might be refurbished sticks. I don't know what has been done. I don't know where I got these and I'm looking for more so that's part of the point of this video to educate you and to ask you guys to help me find these. But uh, the gray on this part of the stick matches the stock Nintendo 64 stick perfectly. There are two circles on the inside part here, as mentioned before, and the ridges rise up perfectly. The, the plastic feels exactly the same quality as the stock Nintendo 64 stick, and even the inside parts, if you were to take this apart, I've checked them out, look exactly the same. So, it's some good stuff. This one's from the same batch but the back is black. Now I don't know if any stock Nintendo 64 sticks have a black back like this but since you can't see it it doesn't bother me if you really use that in a Nintendo 64 controller. I mean all the parts feel exactly the same the colors match perfectly and this is really the best replacement stick you can use on a Nintendo 64 controller. So if you know where I can get more please let me know and I'll add it in in this video. As you can see just in case I don't know how well you can see in the video, but the colors match up perfectly. These are the best. I'd love to have more. But now moving on to some of the, the lesser sticks that I've found online. This is the uh, first one. I've got this from a, a website called DosCheap.com. And you'll see the sticker on here. This Some of them have these stickers on it. This 
I've never seen a good Nintendo 60 con 64 uh, replacement stick with this sticker on here, so that might be a warning sign from the start. But from the instant you pick it up, you'll feel that this the stick is a lot cheaper. The plastic isn't as high quality as the original Nintendo 64 sticks, and it just doesn't feel right. Now, if you look on the inside for that circle, you'll find one right here, but that's it. There's only one. There's no number, and it's not exactly the same type of uh, indent on the shaft there. So, that's another warning sign. Uh, and another big problem is that the rings on the top here, the stick, they're all the same height. So, when you're actually using the stick, it feels a lot cheaper. Not just because of the plastic, because like your thumb could slip a little more. And proving the point of the plastic, I've opened up a lot of these sticks before to add lubricant, which I'll show you in another video how to do that. But this is the only one I've ever snapped the tabs off of before. I mean, this thing couldn't stand anything. It just snapped right off the second I moved it just a little bit. So I don't recommend getting these. They're really junk. Now this next one is very similar. Oh, one more thing with this one is that a major problem before I forget. This is the same one from DosCheap.com. I don't know if other places are selling these. The gray here is a much lighter color than on the standard stock Nintendo 64 stick. It's really bad. It'll definitely stand out. That's something I noticed right away the moment I got it. I don't know how well you could see, but the gray is a lighter color and bad. Uh, this next one I got from uh, pnpgames.com. Uh, it's almost exactly the same as the last one I showed you from DosCheap.com. It has all the same features as that sticker. Uh, the color gray is off. The uh, inside only has one little notch on the shaft, one circle, just like the last one. The only difference I found is that the rings on the control stick part rise up like they're supposed to, so it goes from lowest, middle, and then high. Uh, the plastic is still cheap, I haven't opened this up, but uh, I'm gonna guess this is exactly the same as the last one in every other way, and it just feels cheaper, I don't like it, and I wouldn't use this in my Nintendo 64 controller for repair purposes. And the last one is a uh, newer model, I've seen this advertised on many sites, but it resembles a GameCube control stick, so it should last longer, and it sounds great, but I don't like it for a couple of reasons. First of all, I'm a purist. I want my Nintendo 64 stick to feel like a Nintendo 64 stick. This has like a different feel to it. It's very springy, which is nice, but I want that authentic Nintendo 64 feel. Also, I've read bad things about this stick. I've read that the stick lags when you use it, so your input lags behind a little bit. I've heard some people complain it's hard to perform certain techniques in games using this stick. And I've seen tests on YouTube where people will see with, like the various degrees that the computer computes when you're pushing it in different directions. And it goes in twos, as in 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, all the way up to whatever the Nintendo 64 maximum is. I'm not sure, to be honest with you, but uh, the standard stock Nintendo 64 stick doesn't go up in twos. It goes up in ones, so it's one, two, three, four, five, all the way up. So you might lose some uh, control if you're using a stick like this. So those are the different uh, Nintendo 64 sticks, replacement sticks I've come across. I definitely want to get more of these. These are, they appear to be new or refurbished uh, Nintendo 64 sticks, and they resemble the original stock stick in every way, shape, and form from what I could tell, except maybe the one with the black on the bottom here, but that's not really a big deal. So if you know where I can find these, please let me know. And just because I showed you these, that doesn't mean those are the only types of Nintendo 64 sticks out on the market. Maybe you know of some more. If you have further information, be sure to share in the comments below so everyone out there knows what they can expect and maybe we can uh, all learn something about the problem that plagues the Nintendo 64 and maybe you're just like me and you want great sticks in your Nintendo 64 controllers. So guys I hope you enjoyed my video. Now if you do know where I can find more replacement parts like the ones I described as being the best please let me know and I'll mention you here in the annotations. 
Also, I'll put the site up here if they're selling uh, good ones. And I want you guys to be careful because I think these are a piece of junk. And I will not use them on my Nintendo 64 controllers ever.